Everybody wakes up in the morning and think they have to go to work. I want to go to work because I love what I do. So it's like the thing that got me was, well, wait a minute. If I can't be in the forefront, but let, me, let me help the people in the forefront and be the backbone for them. There's a few, one of them being Tony Maserati, which was probably one of the biggest uh, reasons why I got in the music industry, really, and stayed into it. Um, he's a famous mixer. Tony is the one who brought me into my first session. The other is Luke Evan, and he's also a, a Music 180 Pro. And he, at that time, uh, was basically like us, a bunch of musicians, but he was taking over a managerial job at the studio. And he helped facilitate me to work with Teddy Riley, which turns around 24 hours later, I'm going down to Virginia Beach into Japan and working on Michael Jackson. And the last person is Teddy Riley. He is probably the biggest, biggest influence um, in, my, in my musical career. He taught me how to program. He taught me about how to, uh, to arrange. And he taught me how, what, what feels right. Sometimes I wonder if it's all worth my while. When I first started in the music industry, and this is no lie, I started in May as a runner. That following May, I'm working on a Michael Jackson record. So my, my story is very brief. It was mostly kissing Stevie Wonder. And then I got explored to like Steely Dan. Uh, the Doobie Brothers, and then as a as a musician, as a guitar player, I got into different people like Quincy Jones, um, Todd Rundgren, which were like my basis of producers. Steve Hodge, who's a mixing engineer. You have Jason Cassaro, who's a mixer. You have uh, Niels Dorfman, who's a mixer. You have Tony Maserati, who's a mixer. It's, so those are the ones that really influenced me to forge ahead because as a mixer you need to almost be a borderline producer. From, from hip hop to, to rock, you know, we have, you know, the Michael Jacksons, you have the Exhibit, you have the Alcoholics, you have Babyface, Justin Timberlake, Timbaland, uh, Beyonce, uh, Kelly Rowland. As for country, uh, Reba McIntyre. Well, the current project that I'm working with right, right now is um, Jamie Foxx. Uh, with, with The Wise, with Justin Timberlake, Rob Knox, and James Fauntleroy. Um, uh, I worked with them on you know, the T.I. TI track, Dead and Gone. Uh, I just finished up with Trey Songz, you know, that, which got nominated also this year. God willing, in the uh, NBA playoffs, you're going to hear my mix called Winner, which features um, you know, Justin, Jamie, and T.I. So that's going to be kind of hot. Well, if, if they come to, to, to my section, is I want to be, you know, be able to, you know, to critique as much as I can possibly critique to make them better than what they are. Like basically an A&R person. As for what I would like to do more for Music 180 is to do more of an online symposium where there might be a, a three or two mixer, mixer producer, engineer mixer, engineer producer, songwriter, mixer, producer, to really get into the bottom line is how to be a musician. And you never know, we might find another Beyonce or another Justin Timberlake or you know another Maroon 5. I want to be part of that. I want our crew to be a part of that. I am, I'm very proud to be a Music 180 Pro. No regrets, I'm blessed to say the old me dead and gone away. Oh, hey.